to a yet again another tutorial. Now today I want to talk to you about beginners and how to get started with Armory. Now a lot of new people have come to Armory and most of them find my channel because I'm one of the only ones who do beginner tutorials. Probably not a good thing, just saying. Uh, so what I want to talk to you about today is uh, the latest release and not only the build but also the website it has a new feature and that feature is called examples now if you go to the release notes you can talk, uh, you can see what it says about that a little bit down here now the main thing obviously is in this new release is that there is a new audio engine that can be used with uh, blend uh, with um, armory obviously you have to import it uh, as its own separate Thing using git uh, but you can use it inside of Armour 3D uh, which is great but I'm not really going to talk about that because that's not really what I can do I'm not really skilled enough to do that and uh, I'm going to talk to you about the new uh, 3D example browser that has been added to the main website now previously this was available uh, on a different website but they've linked it into the main armory site which is great because this is where the all the armory 3D uh, beginners are gonna see this is what they're gonna see main, mainly so having the examples right here instead of having to hunt for them is a big advantage it also proves to the community and uh, to other people out there thinking of using army that yes we are still alive and yes this is a good game engine to use before we talk about that I just want to remind you of my army 3D game jam which is ongoing right now you can join right now and uh, by clicking the link right here and it ends on the 28th of October so if you have a game that you're working on or just an idea or if you want to build on top of one of these examples I'm going to show you uh, then that is perfectly fine you can do that no problem in fact the more people that participate is the better that's not very good English but it doesn't matter the point is as long as it's something to do with famous even if it's just a slight theme uh, then that is great and I'll be happy to see what you guys can do now today I'm going to talk to you about the examples so let's go right there right now because uh, I've talked enough and here we can see there are a bunch of things going on now what you can see on the side is all the different examples now over here we have the actual examples which is more so features of ARM 3D not, not uh, games or templates but more features such as uh, let me grab a good one uh, here, as you can see, the logic pause trait uh, example allows you to press one to pause the trait and two to resume. Now, this is a great, uh, great way to uh, show the community what all these different uh, things, all these different um, or the examples do without actually having to go in and build them individually in your own computer because they're all hosted on the website which is great and it's a huge time saver and it allows you to really understand what is happening and then once you understand what is going well what the project does you can actually go and uh, click on this little brackets button here and it will take you to where that file is located on github so you can download the blend file right here and if you don't want to um, download each one individually because that would be a bit dumb then you can just click on Armory Examples and it will take you to all of the examples that you can find on the website right here. All of these are all available right here. However, these are the blend files, they're not pre-built, so obviously these this is uh, where you'll go in and actually edit and look at how the nodes are built up and the hacks files if it's got hacks. And uh, you can just download the zip file onto your desktop directly which is a great thing for beginners and uh, if you do want to actually look for templates for games which I talked about there are a couple here uh, you have the archery the first person shooter and a bunch of uh, official templates over here but official templates aren't all using um, logic nodes most of them use hacks so although it is a great thing to start with a template I highly recommend you actually look at the examples more so and uh, try and uh, build 
get different codes, uh, get different methods from the example files down here and try to build your own game using the example files. For example, if you want to understand how to make UIs and canvases, then you'd look at the canvas node and the camera um, logic in the examples and you try to merge those together in your own project and try and build your own game based on these different building block examples which most of them are nodes, uh, node based most of these examples and uh, yeah that is my uh, humble opinion that you can take or leave but that is how I started to learn Armory 3D now obviously what I recommend to everybody is to go onto the Armory 3D discord because that is where most of the people go and that is where you can find answers quickly for your questions, your queries or your issues uh, for example books you can go ask people if there's any solution or if there's anything you're doing wrong now if you want to actually download the game templates this time not the example templates then you can go over to the armor free discord in the welcome section you can actually find the new templates which are the game templates and by clicking on that it will take you directly to all of these game templates like the first person shooter, third person shooter, platformer and all that great stuff and the same thing you can just download them as a zip folder directly and then once you do that you can have access to all of them and you can just drag them into your project for example right here I have the armory templates and I can just grab the first person shooter and drag it on over into Blender open it up and there we go I have my first person shooter set up and it's actually uh, where I left off uh, with the navigation tutorial with the arrow that uh, follows that points to the bridge I believe and uh, yeah that is as easy as it gets uh, to open up an example file so honestly you're missing out on a lot if you haven't started uh, with these example files and like I said you should probably not open up directly these uh, templates unless you want to build on something that uh, isn't an FPS game as in if you want to build something that requires an FPS mechanic but isn't dependent on the FPS, FPS game or something like that I don't know what your situation would be but as you can see if I click on the gun over here the trait is a hack script because there are no logic nodes apart from this I added myself just to, S to uh, close down the game so yeah that is uh, what I have to say for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and if you are a beginner I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel and I thank you for watching see you in the next one